I'm still here and I'm still buying food, don't worry. I have got a food shop for you um, today. So I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to try and do a no edit video. So hopefully that goes to plan. Please ignore the hair. It did look lovely this morning. But a day of being a mum and being busy, um, I've just shoved it up top of my head. So yeah, please excuse that but i'm sure we're all friends around here and you and you won't care will you anyway so yeah i'll show you the food now i've just had a cup of tea because my mum's here and she's took the children out to the park um so yeah just had a cup of tea in peace and now i'm about to put the food shopping away and crack on with making dinner so i'll start Right, I'm not going to edit that out because I can't be bothered. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, show you what I've got now. As always, I will show you the meal plan at the end and let you know how much it all cost. So this week, I got it from Asda. I'm quite happy. Three substitutes, but they weren't the end of the world. I kept them all. Um, so yeah, I'll get going. So starting off here, as always, I've just got two bottles of Pepsi Max. I float between Pepsi Max and Coke Zero, whatever takes my fancy. Um, so household section, just a small little section this week. Decided I'll be all posh and get Andrex. Puppies on the roll. Um, so yeah, nine rolls of that. Can't remember how the price of it. Um, and to be honest, I'm not going to put it down on the screen below because I'm far too lazy for that. Um, comfort. Um, fabric conditioner basically this is the honeysuckle and sandalwood i don't know if i've had this scent before i've just smelled it and it is really really nice and i am loving not buying non-bio anymore um because the fragrances are so much better and they just last longer on clothes and they just smell more fresh so yeah i'm having a bit of a fabric conditioner addiction i think right now um so cling film um yeah pretty self-explanatory so moving over to the cupboard section um four baked beans probably should have got some, should have got some more but i didn't four tins of green giant sweet corn it's always got to be a green giant in my opinion um some dark soy sauce some posh madis mag Madagascan vanilla extract um the other one wasn't available so i had to go back on and choose this one which is slightly more expensive it wasn't too much more expensive but this is for easter baking some raisins for the children to snack on i've got some shredless marmalade i freaking hate the stuff but the children love it on the toast in the morning sometimes um this however blackcurrant conserve so blackcurrant jam um yeah yummy 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 so i might have that on a hot cross bun tomorrow um easter sunday is tomorrow by the way when i'm filming this so i have got a few little extra bits for easter in here and if i can be bothered and i've got the time i will add on a little clip as well of what i got the children for easter but i'm not promising anything so don't shout at me if i don't do it so vegetable stock cubes 12 of those just one lonely pack of vegetable couscous i have got some in the cupboard but i just wanted to get into the one as well so fruit section quite a bit of fruit um as my children are literal fruit bats and i eat a lot of it because then it helps me stop raiding the biscuit drawer so we've got a honeydew melon or honeydew honeydew or oh, whatever um blueberries We've got some pears. We've got one, two things of bananas. Some um, super easy peelers. Some, I treated myself to some pink lady apples. These are the only apples I have got, which isn't good because there's no way I'm sharing my pink lady apples with the children. I know that sounds harsh, but I mean, they'll take about four bites and then drop it on the floor. So, um... Yeah, I might have to get some more apples at some point. Um, two punnets of grapes. I'm grazing on these on a night after my dinner. And a pineapple. So, uh, salad and vegetable section. We've got some watercress. 
we've got some rocket salad we've got a good old cucumber this is for dinner tonight i'm just gonna boil it up um some broccoli a bit like 10 stem broccoli um two two four jacket potatoes and some more normal potatoes red onions and under here are some brown onions i've got some chestnut mushrooms some carrots that doesn't seem a lot of veg but it should be fine i did go according to my meal plan so it should be okay um so this is the um dairy section um, so two lots of semi-skim milk, two lots of the Alpro grown-up milk for Charlie. Then I've got some yogurt for myself for my pudding on a night and some Floralite butter. I've got 12 medium eggs and Milky Bar little treats for the children to have on the night for their pudding. So six of those. I also am going to try them with this. This is probably going to be more suited for Elodie, my three-year-old. Just because I think Charlie will just get this everywhere. But I thought as a novelty, I'll buy those. Some Baby Bells. Six of them doesn't really last um, that long in this house. Because um, we all eat it except for my husband um but i'm just not forking out for the 12 pack guys unless it's on offer i just can't do it um lightest philadelphia cheese um yeah that's for easter i'm doing like an afternoon tea for supper that day 50% less fat mature cheese then moving over here to the meat section so this was a substitute I don't like pork really so they sent me pork lean mints instead of beef but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine if it's in something um so yeah I'm sure that's fine some salmon fillets then I also got some salmon trimming smoked salmon trimmings for the sandwich with the philadelphia i've just put this to remind me this is in the oven at the moment with some bacon so chicken wrapped in bacon um for dinner tonight and we're also having 10 stem broccoli and rice so i'm just doing that at the minute because it's quite late it's literally nearly five o'clock and yeah so i need to get a crack on with dinner um, some sandwich meat, so topside beef and some char grilled style chicken. So this bit here is a bit like the Easter section. I have got other bits for Easter in the freezer. I've got a massive joint of beef that I need to get out and defrost tonight. I've got um, cauliflower cheese because I'm being lazy and um, I'm not making my own. Um, I've also got some more veg in the fridge as well for Easter. Um, yeah etc etc but what we're going to do is we're going to have easter um roast dinner about two o'clock and then on the night i'm going to do like an afternoon tea for supper so I'm, i've got the broccoli and the um, cheese quiche for that sausage rolls i'm going to do a bit of baking i've got hot cross buns in the fridge for it i'm going to do salmon and philadelphia um cheese um sandwiches for it yeah it's gonna be lovely um so also i'm not making my own yorkshire puddings tomorrow so i've bought some already done some scotch pancakes um i thought the children haven't had these in ages and i thought they'll be nice for breakfast maybe tomorrow for easter um bread 50 50 this is the vitamin boost one i don't know the difference obviously it's a vitamin boost but i can't taste the difference so yeah just got some of that tiny little freezer section i've just got a few mini corn on the carbs we love these and um mini potato and carrot waffles um which makes me feel a bit better as a mom because it says the word carrot in it so yeah um that, that's all good isn't it so yeah that is an overview of the food shopping for this week pop down down below as usual how much it all came to and i'll let you know the meal plan now right meal plan for this week we're starting off on a saturday uh, which is today it's chicken wrapped in bacon with rice and 10 stem broccoli 
Tomorrow is Easter, so it's Easter roast dinner, as I said, two o'clock, and then afternoon tea um, for supper on a night. Um, Sunday, and then Monday, we're having spaghetti carbonara. Tuesday, we're having salmon, lazy roasts, corn on the cobs, and carrots. Wednesday, chicken, mayflower curry, and rice. Thursday, we're having pasta bolognese. Um, and Friday is fast food Friday, so I'll be stuffing my face with a takeaway and the children will probably have a nutritious meal of carrot waffles and probably fish fingers or something. It's just fast food Friday if you don't know and you're not subscribed. By the way, subscribed if you're not. Um, yeah, fast food Friday is just um, Friday, um, quick, um, fast food out of the blooming um freezer and a takeaway for me and the husband um but the husband isn't here right now he's at work he'll be back in about a couple of weeks um so it means that i get a takeaway on my own i eat it in bed and no one can judge me so yeah that is it for next week guys if you've enjoyed this video as i said please subscribe um please thumbs up please talk to me down below and yeah see you soon bye Hi guys, so I thought I would show you what I've got the children for Easter really, really quickly. I'll just whiz through it. So here are the stuff that I'm going to do for the Easter egg hunt. Um, we'll probably do this after we've had lunch. So we're going to have lunch at about two. Maybe have this after. Um, and then they can have a bit of chocolate for the pudding. Something like that. It's going to be really informal, obviously. We're just going to go with the flow. But yeah, going to do this. Um, so I've just got two of these baskets, plastic baskets, for them to do their Easter egg hunt with. I'm literally just going to hide them around the living room. Um, and then they're going to find them around there. Um, so yeah, two of these. These are £1 each from Tesco. I've just got these to find. Smarties egg hunt pack. You get eight um, little mini um, eggs with little mini Smarties in inside. So eight of those to have a look at. Um, they're a decent size. That's how big they are, as you can see. They're quite cute and they um, have, as I said, little Smarties inside. So I'm just going to hide those. And also, I've got these as well. These were a substitute in my one of my last food shops. Um, one came absolutely smashed. That's why one is missing. But they love Peppa Pig anyway, so they'll like them. I'm going to hide these too. So all in all, they have 12 eggs um, to find. So that's their Easter egg hunt things. Now, also, I have bought, decoration-wise, I've not gone all out decoration-wise. I'm literally just bought some bunting, some wooden bunting. This was from Home Bargains absolutely ages ago. It was £1 something. I can't quite remember. It just says Happy Easter on it. So I'm going to put that above the fireplace. Um, yeah, Home Bargains ages ago i got it um because i knew it would sell out quite quickly so i got it when i saw it i've also got from home bargains 10 plates for easter so i usually get little novelty plates like this for christmas and halloween birthdays and it's just nice novelty for them to eat for the day off little paper plates um so obviously easter themed for tomorrow because it's easter tomorrow um so they have their breakfast from this they won't have their big dinner but when we have the afternoon tea for supper they'll eat off these as well so we've got those from tesco they were selling this cake stand and I knew I wanted to do like a afternoon tea style supper anyway and then I saw this and it was perfect for what I wanted I just thought it was adorable so I'm going to put savoury stuff at the bottom and then some sweet stuff um, on the other two as well I've got hot cross buns as I've said in this video already rice crispy cakes and what else have I got um, I'm going to make some 
sort of little cupcakes as well with them so yeah that's that this was about three pound fifty i think it was three pound something um anyway from tesco then the actual easter bag looks a little bit like this it was 69p for the actual bag from home bargains so what i've done this past couple of years um since charlie was born he's only 19 months so he's really young still but last um year he was obviously even younger obviously um but yeah i haven't done sort of a basket or a bag each yet um but what i might do is starting this halloween i think he'll be old enough to have his own bag full of little goodies and treats so um yeah for now i've still stuck with one bag to share so inside they've got a couple of little bunny ears so we've got that one there this was from ebay two pound odd um and then this one was from last year some little bunny ears so they're going to have some bunny ears for the actual to wear on the day to wear tomorrow 79p from home bargains just got this spring coloring book um this has loads of lovely coloring book um coloring pages and a lot of lovely stickers really realistic animal stickers my little girl's gonna love love the stickers i will find them all over the house i'm sure but she's just absolutely gonna love that and for 79p i thought that was amazing so yeah they've got that they've also got this easter cupcake set from home bargains this was, I think, £1 something. It was under £2, about £1.50. You get the cupcake cases and then you get these little... Sorry about the glare. You can see my ugly face um, in it. Um, but happy Easter and little Easter egg um, for the top of the cupcakes. Um, so I thought that would look so sweet sitting on top of the tiered cupcake stand for tomorrow so we are going to do some baking with them so that's going to coincide with that then we've got some smarties each little boxes of smarties you get one tube one little box and three of those um smarty filled eggs these are what my mother-in-law bought them as well as like a couple of little toys and stuff each but they've just got two they've got one each of these um little sets um obviously they're all going to be in moderation they're not going to eat them all tomorrow obviously just wanted to put that in there so as well as the chocolate um i've just got these swizzles drum chick squashes so little sweets um in the shape of chicks um so yeah every three-year-old's dream so my little boy i don't know if he'll be okay with these they're more for my little girl and me to be honest i'm gonna nick a few then i've also bought them some little marshmallow um characters a bunny carrot a sheep and an easter egg this was from home bargains as well under a pound again i can't remember exactly how much but it was um so they'll have a couple of those each at some point and then lastly, I got this from, um, where did I get it from? From Iceland, absolutely ages ago. Now, this what is everywhere, but I only saw it in Iceland at the time. So I got this ages ago because I was worried that it would be sold out. And I just loved the Peter Rabbit um, edition. Um, yeah, I just thought that was really sweet for easter so i've got that as well and that is everything um for the children for easter i don't go over the top the same with halloween i do about the same sort of similar size things i don't go over the top it's just something just to make the day a little bit special really so yeah again thank you for watching the video um yeah see you soon